I want to show you something interesting that a few people have pointed out here. Super Mario Brothers movie, very successful. It's over a billion dollars. It'll probably have some legs in Japan, as people have pointed out in my previous video's comments, which is, which is true. It'll probably get $150,000 out of Japan. Then it's all said and done. Though now that the movie's available for pirating, I don't know if that's going to be the case. Because as tons of websites have pointed out, over the past couple of days, the entire movie was uploaded to Twitter. Like they're trying to tell you the movie is available for free. What does that what does that tell you? I almost didn't even want to say anything about it, but at this point, I mean the cat's already out of the bag on it. Thanks to just about every every website out there. They were all covering it. And they did that for a reason, because they want to slow down the movie's momentum if they can, because they don't want to see Disney get dethroned. This movie came damn close to doing it. Real close. So it's at 59%. It is rotten. It has been rotten since it hit Rotten Tomatoes. I want to show you why critics are full of shit and you just can't trust them. Why is that? Well, you know what movie is fresh? Peter Pan and Wendy. Let me show you a clip from Peter Pan and Wendy. You have the boy's magic. No, this magic belongs to no boy. Sure. Sure, that movie's much better than Mario. You see how they work? That's why they don't like Mario as much. And I want to tell you something. They're not crazy about this movie either. Because the credits or the reviews for this movie are all like, yeah, it's, it's kind of dull and boring, but Wendy Slay Queen and it's progressive and all this shit. I'm not even kidding. It's literally in reviews like this one from the Los Angeles Times. Review, the entertaining Peter Pan and Wendy charts a familiar close to Neverland. Let me show you my favorite passage from this. Lowry and Halbrook do tweak some things. Captain Hook's rivalry with Peter Pan is given a thornier, more involved backstory. The indigenous princess, Tiger Lily, is no longer a Pulp Fiction stereotype of the Disney cartoon. Wendy has a lot more agency, wielded with a feminist edge, and she and Tinkerbell are no longer rivals. Reactionaries who rush to the internet to complain about progressive ideas sneaking into pop popular culture may be outraged, but for the most part, this is the Peter Pan and Wendy everyone is used to. No, no, it's not. That's why audiences hate it. 18%. This is how out of touch critics are. I mean, it's it's never been more of a perfect example with the Mario movie, which made a billion dollars, by the way. And uh, Miyamoto is 100% correct when he says that critics giving this movie bad reviews did turn people onto it. It absolutely did. Uh, that's why they're bringing the score up, or trying to. They're trying to slow down the momentum of this movie in any way possible that they can. But how can you trust people that give this movie good reviews? And they're not even good reviews. They're like, oh, it's okay, kind of boring, but it's progressive. Five out of five. Five out of five. But, you know, after hearing that, after hearing that about how, oh, it's progressive, and they're like literally, like listen to that, reactionaries who rush to the internet to complain about progressive ideas sneaking into pop culture may be outraged. They're literally saying, oh, because they're sneaking in feminist shit, people are going to be mad about it. And nobody wants to see this stuff. It doesn't make anything better. This is why the white the writer's strike is amazing. Maybe some of these talentless hacks will go back to Starbucks where they belong. They don't belong in Hollywood. Hollywood's rot, though, is too deep. I don't, I don't know how you fix Hollywood. It's just too deep. Hopefully a lot of these independent creators can kind of just take it over but you know movies is totally different than huh, comic books I mean it takes a lot of money to make a movie it does take money you have to buy a lot of equipment and stuff 
So, you know, that that is coming, but until then, this is what we're getting. And these critics continue their mission to annoy people. So they're all go out of bit they're all going out of business. Vice News is gone, BuzzFeed is gone, Kotaku, Polygon, they're next. All these websites, all these trash websites, all these critics, they're all gonna find themselves in the independent circuit. Boy, oh boy, I can't wait to see how they do then when they don't have free money to prop them up. So anyway, listen to how much they love this movie. After that up there where they talked about how it's got a feminist edge. It's a shame there aren't more wow moments like this in Peter Pan and Wendy because Lowry is certainly capable of them. The movie is entertaining and has a professional polish, but it's also very safe. It feels like it was made for the darling children's parents, not the Lost Boys. Funny how they call it very safe. It's what all of them were complaining about when it came to the Mario movie, saying that it's trying to be too safe. Too safe of a movie. Why would they do this? They should have gave it a feminist edge. (laughs) These people are all hacks. All of them. And it's funny to see them all pretty much complain about losing their jobs. And it's like, why do you think that is? Well, maybe because you are, you guys are so out of touch. You think the biggest problem in the world for people right now are pronouns. As you sip your Starbucks coffee, coffee that costs you $9. That's the, that's the biggest problem in the world right now. It's pronouns. This is why this is why they're all losing so much money. And they refuse to get off their stances of that. They're literally going to ride this shit into the ground. By the way, look at this. Writers Guild of America West. Writers Guild on strike. The board of directors of the WGA West and the Council of WJE East acting upon the authority granted to them by their memberships, have voted unanimously to call a strike effective 12.01 a.m. Tuesday, May 2nd. The decision was made following six weeks of negotiating with Netflix, Amazon, Apple, Disney, WBD, NBC Universal, Paramount Plus, and Sony under the umbrella of the AMPTP. Through our negotiating committee began this process intent of making a fair deal. The studio's response has been wholly insufficient given the existential crisis writers are facing. Picketing will begin tomorrow afternoon. I think this is a lot of money or this is a lot of, well, they want a lot more money and they're not going to get it. They don't deserve it. Most of them, how many think about this really and Give me an honest answer. How much good stuff has come out of Hollywood in the past five years? Other than a handful of things. Like a Top Gun or a Mario movie or... uh, What else has been? Avatar 2. How many other big movies has there been? This industry is shit. For every one Avatar 2, you get 30 She-Hulks. These people are hacks and (laughs) they want more money. This is a desperate attempt to try to gain relevancy in an era of chat GPT. They're really just not needed anymore. So I just, in fact, I would say that (laughs) if all of them never work again, the quality would probably improve in Hollywood. So, I mean, and that's not saying much. It would just become mediocre because an AI would be writing everything. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, You can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications 
like YouTube, they'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.